people like to criticize for everything. Eh? You know, take those glasses off your head, and I'm like, why? Why not? I mean, it's it, cut it, your hair. <laughs> Cut your hair. That's what that's what my mom tells me. If I get here and I tell you cut your hair, are you gonna go and cut it? I probably not. Bro. His name is Luis Paez. Luis, wh where are you from originally? Um, from Miami, from Kendall, one five seven and Bird Road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you do speak Spanish. Tú hablas español, ¿por qué? Eh, sí, hablo español. No es mi mejor eh, lenguaje, pero me, me defiendo. Tú siempre has sido un music man. Actually, all my life, I've been a sports player uh, I've, I've been the jock in high school i kind of learned or jumped into music through through like the school band and i've always really liked it so where did shy monster come from shy monster came from uh a couple years working with my partner hayden blades uh, we had worked on one score together um it, it wasn't like a band name or anything we just had worked on a score together and Just through our conversations and our likeness of films and music, we felt that we should probably work together and uh, continue writing scores for films and not just that, just writing music in general. Mm -hmm. And that has led to a two-year space exploration of sounds and challenges for both of us and just trying to figure out where we lie in music and who we are as artists so where do you lie in music right now um i think our forte is writing scores for films um we also do a lot of experimental and ambient music um synthesizer music what i think draws both of us to you know to any project is a really good story and being able to tell that story through music and helping the director do that. So when we find a director that is passionate, that has a good vision and that is able to articulate that vision um, to us in a, in a directing standpoint, it, it's something that is exciting for us. Tell us about uh, the projects that you've been involved with. We've been around for a couple years now. Um, I, I would say the biggest project that we've worked on so far is Malabar. It was in the Miami Film Festival. And that was directed by Freddy Rodriguez and it had an incredible cast, incredible acting. I mean, it was really one of those situations where the entire film was run on high functioning cylinders and making the everything super efficient and it, it just really worked um very well and i had a pleasure working on it um there's been what kind of music did you create for malabar it was a mix of horror with the thriller sound we had a chase scene where we worked you know we had we'd spent two weeks on this chase scene that was really important and we had to encapsulate the emotion of fear for this mother that was you know ice took her, her kid and she was, so she's fearful but we're creating this with a chase scene there's a car behind her that's you know ominous and we want to create that you know um, illusion there and now you've made also um, music videos for the work that you've done originally right. tell us about that our first music video for our album rust it's called angle shades people that shot the film were, were were another group that we had filmed the score for so they went to Iceland and they filmed this for us in exchange for us scoring their film How do you see the industry here in Florida? Do you plan to stay here and develop? Do you plan to move? What are your plans to develop Shy Monster? I see the South Florida film industry as a seed right now. And with the new government incentives to film here, I think that is water for the seed for this to grow. There's so many great organizations out there from uh, Filmgate to WIFT 
to all the uh, to film Miami and thank you Deliana because she's probably one of the main Deliana people. Alexander yeah she's probably the main <laughs> uh, people that, that is the heading this charge and there's so many great stories there's a Miami voice there's definitely a South Florida voice that we're seeing here um, uh, I was there for a Bacero, um that wasn't the audience award for the Miami Film Festival talking about a Cuban on a raft coming here and these are stories that like my grandma w would tell me you know about other people these are stories that need to be told and there's definitely a voice here in miami that needs some spotlight i saw this guy that said that uh, when m m films from miami go to any film festival the flavor the light everything is different and people are like wow you know? so miami does have a language yes. that that people are starting to see establishing companies like yours here and creating things for the the world it's it's the way to do yeah absolutely i i mean we we are super flexible with indie filmmakers um you know we try to work out payment plans or whatever we can do to like get them to get the music that they need for their film but also not have to worry about financial burdens all the time. Is it easy to work with directors with their ideas and what you bring to the table? I would say most of the directors are very receptive of, of what we say. We, we do have experience other than just composing films. My partner has actually uh, made a feature film. He's directed and edited so we do have a bit of a, a broad experience base um, when it comes to that and we can Definitely um, advise our directors, and we always do that, especially Hayden. <laughs> he will always, you know, let you know, hey, I don't like this part, and this is why I don't like it. I'm still going to make the music, but I'm just going to let you know why I don't like it, because as a human being, like, I think we all need this. You know, we all need honest people. How old are you? I'm just about to turn 30 uh, in April, April 4th. Okay, so you're a millennial. <laughs> okay, that's why I ask you. Okay, millennials usually, when you ask them, what's your favorite director, they would come with a J.J. With a Abrams, somebody from the last 10 years. No. Because they, they really don't go back to Hitchcock or Antonioni. <laughs> For me, my, my favorite director is uh, Stanley Kubrick. And then second behind that is David Lynch. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my friend. That's my friend. I really like Ridley Scott as well. The Alien franchise. A lot of people don't like the new Blade film. Runner, Blade a Blade Runner. Runner. I mean, that to me is... You know, the highlights, yeah. you know, of the films that I that I, I look toward. For me, David Lynch really personified what indie film can be. So Listen, do you feel that you have influence from filmmakers or musicians? Absolutely. I mean, for me, I'm I feel like I'm a sponge of of music. Um, I don't I don't really have a favorite genre or or anything that I listen to specifically. There's something that I'm listening to right now, um, but that doesn't mean that's my favorite thing ever you know so I, i'll go from country uh you know johnny cash to you know john gerard which is space odyssey synthesizers and experimental music to even juju which is a very exper experimental artist you know what is the 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 music for film scene here in florida You know, that's that's a really good question. I haven't met too many people. I've met maybe two or three okay. um, other composers. Um, but it, it, there's not a huge scene when it comes to film composers down here, um, which is good for us. It's good. <laughs> hey, Luis, tell me, tell me about the future. What, what's Shy Monster doing in the future? Well, Shy Monster is developing their own video game right now. Um, we're creating the sounds and the, the music for the game, creating more albums, working with more developers and, and filmmakers, but we're also writing our own feature film. Ooh. So you're really not into just music, you really want to... I'm a creator. Exactly. For me, I, I would the best description is, is create. Whether I'm creating a video game, a book, a film, uh, an album, I'm, I'm always creating something, and that's what my passion is. Storytelling through creation. You know, in my case, I paint and I and I do film and I write. Okay. To write, I need complete chaos. <laughs> I need because, you know, from chaos... You were going to say silence. And no, I was no, like, oh, I'm the total no, opposite. No, no, no. I need chaos because chaos gives me the ideas. Yes, 
But I paint, and when I paint, I need complete silence. I, if you see me when I'm painting, I stop. I can't. No? So tell me about your creativity. What do you need? in order for it to flourish. I adapt, you know, I, I live a, a normal human life. I have a day job. I come home, I have to cook, I have to put things away. I have to walk my dog. In those mini scurps of moments that I'm able to schedule out for myself, I'll compose a song. And everything else for that 30 minutes, I, I can't like compute. If it's one plus one, I can't handle it. It's <laughs> Unless it's music for those 30 minutes, I can't like, it's what I do and, and I'm all into that. So for me, being in the moment is the most important thing. The second that you start thinking, oh, is this good? Is this bad? Is this what? No, that's, you've lost it. And it's same thing like acting. You have to be completely committed to that. Sometimes, depending on what character I'm writing for in the film, it's almost like method acting. I have to go through or understand what this person is feeling. If they're going through hell, I have to mentally put myself through hell and and feel their pain. And once I f have felt that, I have to translate that into music. Cool, cool, cool. Now tell the, the people where, where can they find you? Shymonstermusic.com. You can find us on Facebook. You just put at Shymonstermusic. Twitter, same thing, at Shymonstermusic. Instagram, same thing. Um, if you want to just follow me, um, I'm Pius 16 um, You can find me on Facebook or Instagram. And if everything fails, go to a film festival and the guy's there. Yeah, I'm here. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> well, Luis, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And bye. <laughs>